Welcome to 9-11 Experiments, experiments you can do at home or someone else's home to prove or disprove the official conspiracy theory of the 9-11 Commission Report. We are shown plenty of diagrams of a plane hitting the Pentagon, but we never get to see any of the 85 security camera photos except for one very fuzzy photo. So that leads people to wonder, what are they hiding? Did the plane hit from the official south path or north of the Sitco gas station? So we need verifiable eyewitness reports. So let's check out Steve Storty's story as told to CIT. Steve said he was on his apartment's balcony and saw the crash. His interviews by newspaper reporters and radio hosts have been posted on websites worldwide. Here's a website in France where you can read his testimony if you pause the video now. His apartment balcony was one mile away from the Pentagon, at the right side of this diagram that Steve created, at 1425 South Eads Street, apartment 405, Arlington, Virginia, which is the Hampton Apartment and Condo Building on the fourth floor. These apartments face north with a view of the Pentagon. The red arrow shows the apartment Steve was renting on September 11, 2001. Let's go up there to see how good the view is. The red line on this aerial view shows the distance to the Pentagon, about one mile. He could see the corner, but not the wall of the explosion. This distance can be verified through Google Maps. Steve drew a red line of the plane's path over Route 395, assuming he could see the plane at all these points in blue. So let's go over to 1425 South Eads and see if this is realistic. This apartment building has a secure entrance requiring a pass key. The guard or receptionist can buzz in guests. But we are in luck. Steve moved out years ago and the apartment is available for rent. So we asked the receptionist if we could take a look at apartment 405. So she gave us a brochure, floor plan, and rental prices and let us go up the elevator and down the hall to apartment 405 which was being renovated for some new tenants. We were lucky because not everyone will let you photograph their home. Let's see if Steve's view would allow him to see what he says he saw. Well welcome. This is Steve Storchy's apartment and this is the view that he had of the Pentagon on his living room. Well, here I am at Steve's balcony, and let's let's see for ourselves what kind of view he had of the Pentagon. So I see it. It would be hard to see that behind that yellow building. It was only a small area. Oh, maybe about the width of my thumb uh, between that building and the Pentagon. So he saw that going at 500 miles an hour, and saw people. I mean, that would have gone by in a split second. And he saw people inside. Okay, you be the judge. What is the yellow building that covers the flight path to the Pentagon? Was it there on September 11th, 2001? It's the Marriott Residence Inn. Let's go in and find out when it was built. Yeah. I'm sorry, when, when was it built? When was it? 1996. This hotel, Residence Inn? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Yeah, so Now let's hear Steve Storty's testimony to investigative journalist Jeff Hill while viewing Steve's former apartment and balcony view of the Pentagon. Hello, Hello. I'm returning a phone call. Uh, yes. Uh, this is Jeffrey Hill. Who, who am I speaking with? Steve Storty, S-T-O-R-T-I. Oh, sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for calling me back. Uh, the reason I was calling you is because, uh, well, I was reading on the uh, internet that, uh, you seen the plane at the Pentagon on 9-11? Yes. Okay, uh, well, like, the only reason I was calling was because I see, I read this stuff on the internet, uh, and, uh, there's, like, <laughs> have you seen, like, yeah, all the... Yeah, that there's no plane that hit the Pentagon, it was a missile. No, no, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that. No, 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 I know, but that's what they say. Yeah, exactly, that's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> right, so I just wanted to, like, talk to someone that's seen it with their own eyes kind of thing. Um, that plane followed Route 95, 395 actually, right into the Pentagon, just like it was following a AAA 
play map. Um, it was definitely a U.S. Uh, an American Airlines plane. I knew it because I had flown maybe 60 times the year before. Yeah. Um, it was out of the flight path. I lived right there in Crystal City overlooking the West Lot. Um, I was on my balcony less than a quarter of a mile. I heard it bank. I heard the engines rev. I saw it hit. I felt, smelt, and tasted the explosion and lived with the aftermath for months afterwards. I promise you it was a fucking plane and not a cruise missile or anything else. <laughs> okay, okay, I believe you, I believe you. But, like, I don't mean to laugh at, like, a serious thing, but it's just... No, 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 I understand. But, like, and so you, did, how far did you see it come in from? I saw about the last seven seconds of the flight. So where, like, could you, like, kind of... Like, w with looking, like, where the Navy annex is and the roads hey, and, if, like... If you look at the Navy, if you looking from above and you're looking at the Navy annex and you look at the Pentagon... Uh-huh. Um, and you make a triangle, my apartment would have been approximately in line between the Navy annex and, um, Reagan National Airport. Uh-huh. Um, so it made a triangle. Um, I, if you want to draw a compass line, you could look from my balcony directly over the Navy Annex and see the flagpole at Henderson Hall, mm -hmm. which is just above the Navy Annex. It's the Marine Corps base. Uh -huh. um, if you shift your gauge, sh shift your gauge. A degree to the left, you'd be looking directly at the Sheridan, or what was the Sheridan National Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's it's because like uh, basically uh, these there's these guys that said like okay, they talked to witnesses and stuff. They went yeah. down to Arlington or whatever, and they talked to a, uh, some people, and uh, they describe it like uh, I don't know if you know where that Sitco gas station is. Or what? Yep, I know exactly where it is. And uh, this little hollow right below the Navy annex. The plane would have passed almost directly overhead. Overhead of that Sitco gas station? Yep, if that's the one that I'm thinking of. Okay, okay. It's now the uh, Navy annex station or something like that? Or I don't know what the name Probably. is. Probably. Okay, and so it would have came like right over <laughs> that? Like, I, I talked to a, a guy that was in the Navy annex at the time. Like, his office isn't there anymore. They tore it down with the, for the memorial. Mm -hmm. And he said when he was in his office, if he saw it come over his right shoulder. Um, well, depending on where he was sitting and what direction he was facing, that would have been possible. Uh, but it didn't come over his right, right shoulder. If he was in the Navy annex... Mm -hmm. It didn't come over the Navy Annex. It went between the Navy Annex and the Pentagon. Between the Navy Annex and the Pentagon. Right. Maybe one wing went over it, but... Like more towards which side? The uh, road side or the, where, like the Arlington Cemetery side? More towards the road side. More towards the road side? Right. It came in... If you're looking at a map of that area, an overhead map, see if you can... If you can pull up an aerial map, and you'll see 395. That plane followed 395 right in. Okay, okay. Except when the, road, when the road turns to the right to go around the Pentagon and then over the bridge into D.C., the plane went straight. When I first saw the plane, my heart sank because I thought it was going for the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, okay. Yeah, because like I was going to say is there's these guys that say well they, they they went down and they interviewed people uh, a couple people from the Sitco gas station a couple uh, Pentagon police officers and stuff and uh, they were saying oh it, it the plane flew north of this Sitco this is where all their their thing relies on they said the plane was north of the Sitco therefore it's impossible to have done the damage to the light poles and it couldn't have hit the Pentagon in order for that plane, at its altitude, to fly north of the Sitco station, it would have hit the Navy Annex. 
Oh, yeah? Hmm, that's interesting. The Sitco station is located in a hollow below the Navy Annex. Okay, yeah, like you, need to, you really need to look at an aerial map or a topographic map. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's in a hollow. The Navy Annex, the foundation for the sub-basement, is probably 20 feet above the highest part of the Sitco station. Okay, so the... Okay, and I, I see what you mean. Uh, like, I, I do have a vague understanding of that area. Like, I just started looking at it. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, but yeah, like from where you place it, that that seems like the same as uh, from other people I've talked to, more or less. The only way that the, there's no way physically possible, unless you can bend the laws of physics, that that plane could have come in from any other direction, because the angle would have been too wrong, and it wouldn't have been able to hit the Pentagon when it was almost level with the ground. Mm hmm And did did you hit, did you see it hit any of the light poles or? Um, I saw some I saw some um, puffs of what I thought was dust at the time, and that was probably the light poles. Mm hmm You wouldn't have happened to seen that taxi cab on the highway, would you? No. No. From my vantage point, anything below ten feet on the ground, I couldn't see. Okay, okay. Um, so I didn't see the, the I didn't see the cars that were on the road. Um, I could see the top of the Sitco station. I could see the top of the light poles. Um, I could clearly see the Pentagon because it was far enough out from 395. Um, I saw that plane come in and I saw it pass between me and the Navy annex. And the only way for it to get in there is for it to have flown almost directly over the Sitco station. And you like you tr you said you, like if you triangul triangulate the area where you were, you were in you were in an apartment. Yes, on the fourth floor of an apartment building. Like at, at South Eads, Fifteenth and South Eads. Fifteenth and South Eads. South Eads Street. South Eads Street is one of the two roads that. Uh, went directly into the west lot at the Pentagon. Okay, okay. And cause, okay, and so like... Actually, it's 14th Street. Just hypothetically speaking then, from like where you were, where you've seen all this happen, even though like you, you know 100% that you saw it hit, just hypothetically speaking, from what they say, oh, people were deceived into thinking they saw it hit, but in actuality, the plane flew over and the explosion masked the flyover. If, if a Boeing 757... No, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you, were, if you were standing on your front doorstep and you live on a straight street and your neighbors have houses with attached garages, if you look down the street, you could see your neighbor pull into his garage and the car would kind of look like it was disappearing into the house. Correct? Right, okay, I follow, yeah. Okay. I watched that plane hit the Pentagon. I saw the puff of dust when it actually hit. There was no immediate explosion. I saw that plane slice into the Pentagon until the tail fin was even with the outside wall, and that is when the explosion occurred. Yeah, wow, that's interesting. So, like, and you're, like, you're a pilot, too, I read? No. Or no? I'm an ex-Marine, but not a pilot. Okay. I was a uh, retired firefighter, but not a pilot. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, I got you mixed up with somebody else. I've got information overload in my head. Would you say, though, like, the plane, it was very precise in the way it came in and hit? Um... Like, it wasn't an accident or anything, you think? Kind of? No, 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 this wasn't an accident because its trajectory at the last minute changed. When it passed over just the, the tip, the end of 395, and it went over the Sitco station, it banked sharply to the right. And I know this because I saw the left wing come up. And at the same time, the engines went to full throttle. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, because I, I was talking it about... It was deliberate. And I can tell you this. There were people on board that plane because I saw silhouettes huddled in the back windows of that plane because where I first saw it, yeah. I could see through the plane from like one to the window on one side to the window of the other. Uh-huh. And in the, the front two-thirds of that plane, there was nothing but clear right through to the other side of the plane. And in the back of that plane, the back third, you could see things moving back and forth in front of the windows. Oh, yeah? Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, okay, well, I just... Uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time, sir. No, I hope that, I hope that answers all your questions. And, I, and I, I've read all the stupidity on the Internet. <laughs> Are you... I've had, tell, I've had people tell me that I've been hypnotized. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, or that I'm part of some government conspiracy. Oh, yeah. Anybody that says they saw the plane hit is part of the cover-up, eh? That's what I... Well, um, and the fact that I would be part of any type of conspiracy goes against my basic character, and you could check that with anybody on damn near five continents. 